What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to show you something really awesome that was added to the RetroPie experimental packages actually just a few hours before making this video. If I go into my port section, you'll see I have a Steam Link app. There is a Steam Link beta for the Raspberry Pi. It's already been implemented in the experimental packages on RetroPie so you can easily install it here. And if you're interested in installing it on Raspbian, I'm going to leave a link to the Steam community that created this. It's very easy to do if you're running like a Linux desktop on your Raspberry Pi, but I really wanted it on RetroPie, and luckily they've already added it. So in order for all this to work, you're going to have to have a PC that's running Steam. It's going to be on the same network. You need a decent network. I do recommend running Ethernet on your Raspberry Pi and your PC, but if you want to do Wi-Fi like I am here, it should work as long as you have a decent 5 GHz network. So in order to get this installed, we're just going to go ahead and go into the RetroPie menu, scroll down until we find RetroPie Setup. From here, we need to update RetroPie Setup script. You will need to be connected online for this to work, so go ahead and set your Wi-Fi up or Ethernet. Now, after you've updated the RetroPie setup script, we can go to Manage Packages, Manage Experimental Packages, and scroll down until we find Steam Link. Go ahead and click OK. And from this menu, it'll say Install from Binary. Just let it finish up. We're going to go back, reboot your Raspberry Pi, and you can access the Steam Link app from within the Ports menu. I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I've already set mine up on my PC. It will give you a specific code you need to type in while Steam's running on your gaming PC. But um, it works really well. I'm on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus on a 5 GHz network using an Xbox One wireless controller with my Raspberry Pi. You can also use a keyboard and that's pretty much recommended. There's some settings we can go through in here. Our computer settings, our controller settings, and our streaming settings. So streaming quality, I just have mine set to balanced. Video streaming, definitely want that. Audio streaming, stereo. Go to advanced. You can even stream the desktop if you'd like to. My bandwidth limit is set to automatic. Resolution limit, 1080p. And you can also enable the performance overlay if you'd like to. So I'm just going to back up here. I'm actually going to go into my controller settings. I'm going to set this up real quick. All right, I just wanted to go ahead and configure that controller properly. I'm going to go to start playing. It's going to connect to my PC, and I'm now streaming from my gaming PC. So this is a new build. I actually just finished building it about two days ago. I don't have much installed, but I do have a few games we can test here, like Grand Theft Auto V. Go right in here, go to play. It's going to load it up for me. You might notice my FPS and CPU usage up in the top left hand corner. You will need to enable this on your PC. I use Afterburner to get mine up and running. But this is pretty awesome. I love the Steam Link app. I use it on my Nvidia Shield, Android phone, and now Raspberry Pi has it. So this is in beta. Uh, it's only going to get better over time. Hopefully the community keeps up with it and I'm pretty sure they will. Go ahead and exit this one. So we'll go to game, exit game. And since I'm not streaming my desktop, it'll bring me right back here. So I'll just go to Doom real quick. Three, two, one, go. And I have connected a keyboard to my Raspberry Pi. Works fine here. I didn't have to configure anything. Now you will have to configure your keyboard if you want to use it full time in the RetroPie menu so you can navigate that and then when you get here, it should work in any game that supports a keyboard. And this is really great. This is running pretty good.
So yeah, and when you want to exit, make sure you shut your game down like you would while you're running it on the PC. And when you're ready to exit back into RetroPie, we're just going to go up here to the little power icon, stop streaming. It'll bring us back into the Steam Link selection menu. Press B and you'll be back into the RetroPie menu. So as you can see, I do have a video snap here, but this doesn't come with the Steam Link app when you download it. You will have to add something yourself. So select your Steam Link app, press select on your controller, edit this game's metadata, and from here you can tell Emulation Station where your video is located. Mine's in Home, Pi, RetroPie, ROMs, Ports, Box. I just created a video. It's an MP4 called Steam.MP4, and that's what it's playing there. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I was really excited when I saw this was added to the experimental packages, and I just had to make a video on it real quick. Remember, this is going to work a lot better over Ethernet, but if you have a 5 gigahertz network, it should be pretty decent. I mean, you should be playable like that. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.